So Stucco is a housing cooperative in Newtown for students of the University of Sydney um, and it's social housing. Basically the 40 of us live here and it's quite a transient space that people are moving in and out all the time. It's a pretty unique structure and a housing situation and a really beautiful community to live in. The first thing you notice when you walk into this building is it's kind of like a microcosm. You walk in and just behind us here is like a big courtyard full of beautiful trees um, and beautiful humans running around. We've always wanted solar. Um, we're all really passionate about climate change, renewable energy and advocacy. Um, and it was really just a matter of um, affording it and making it work. Uh, so I was doing my PhD in physics working on solar cells um, and I a couple of times while living here tried to investigate putting solar on the roof. It's a beautiful roof, gets heaps of sun, um, it's kind of the logical thing to do. We're all quite environmentally conscious students living here. Uh, we just found that there were too many barriers to doing that. The biggest barrier was the cooperative owning the roof space but the tenants being the ones to benefit from the cheap solar electricity. And that was a tension that we could never resolve. So we had a problem and we were looking to solve that problem for ourselves. Um, and what we discovered is that that's a problem faced by a lot of people who live in the city of Sydney or around Australia. Uh, we had an ideas ball and we would pass that around and, and brainstorm different uh, you know, systems and, and different ways that we could um, make this place uh, renewable and sustainable. The ideas ball was thrown between Louis and myself just across the courtyard for a couple of weeks and we toyed with a whole bunch of different renewable energy environmental projects that we could do at Stucco. And in the end the ball settled with this idea as the one that it would be of greatest impact to Stucco and of greatest impact to the community at large. We are installing the first uh, solar and battery storage system in a multi-unit um, residential setting. In, in Australia it's the first, we don't, we don't know um, elsewhere if, there, if one exists. So the cooperative is the one in paying for the installation. With the big help of the City of Sydney, they gave us this environmental performance innovation grant. I mean, what grabbed the council's attention was that batteries in an apartment setting hasn't been done before. We've overcome the split incentive problem by the cooperative installing smart meters that monitor how much solar electricity the tenants use and then the co-op will bill them accordingly at a very discounted rate. Basically what it comes down to it's a financial model for body corporates or um, apartment building owners to um, you know have renewable systems. Um, it provides an income to the, the body corporate strata managers or community housing providers um, to help maintain um, the infrastructure and the building, um, but also the, this sort of system will provide cheaper electricity. Consumers in the building will be receiving the, the cheapest um, and we are estimating 20% um, lower than what any retailer is offering. Low income owners aren't able to access renewable energy or energy efficiency um, advances and therefore are the ones left feeling the biggest burden of the increase in electricity prices. So what we're demonstrating here helps to change that and it allows low income earners to also access the, all of the benefits of solar. So I'm extremely keen to see how this project evolves over time. Um, it really is the first of its kind so it will be very interesting to see how the system performs, how the finance works out and how other apartment blocks take this on. The most immediate way that we see this being rolled out is in social housing. So Stucco is part owned by the New South Wales government and the government could roll out very similar systems across their social housing fleet, which would also provide the government with a bit of income and provide cheaper, more affordable electricity to the tenants who are otherwise vulnerable to continue to be exploited by the rapid increase in electricity prices. The idea that apartment buildings can now access solar, to me that is just mind-blowing because it's hundreds of thousands of Australians now like that could, you know, potentially be on solar. I'm excited that, like, us as young people, as students, like put this project together. And it just really feels like a community effort, but it was just driven by these two young people, like just students that were passionate about renewable energy and making a change and yeah, just young people getting out there and doing it. So I guess it's a triumphant moment in uh, community action on climate change because it means that everyday uh, consumers uh, you know, don't have to rely on the big three energy giants. And it's very much our hope that others will look at this project and say like, oh, we can do the same thing and we can also install solar on our apartment blocks. Mm -hmm.